Hi there everyone, hope you're all well, welcome back to the channel. So this video here, we're just going to go over for more recent price action, why it's important and how you can find the best key levels, um, obviously, to get the best trades possible. So if you've watched the previous videos, we always go over things like the confluences that we can use. We've gone over, you know, trend lines, EMAs, stuff like that. But in this video, I just want to show you something in relation to recent price action and why you might want to lean more towards it compared to the previous one, okay? So when we're looking at the market, you should pretty much all know by now regarding key levels. A key level would be potentially something like this, where price has continuously respected an area within the market, okay? So by doing this, you can basically predict that price may push down here, or break retest okay so there's usually two two outcomes in relation to a strong level there's either going to be a break and retest of it or a retest of it once that level starts being um not respected that is when we would start looking to kind of eliminate the price action in and around that area and then focus on some new ones okay so what i want to do is show you an example here so if we are looking at this chart up to this point, you can see that this is an area within the market where on Euro Australian dollar price has acted as support, 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 support about four times. And then it then acted as resistance um, another few times. OK, so in these situations here, obviously, as, as it stood, once price broke the level, you kind of was under the impression this is a strong level. So then you managed to obviously look at that a few times. Once price starts breaking the level and not respecting it, there's a high chance that the market may continue to do that. And if you look here, if we continue going right, if I just get rid of this for the time being, you can see obviously at this point, the level was being respected up until about here actually. And then all of a sudden, what happened was ever since then, this level has literally just been slammed past, okay? So then when you're looking at this area here, when price comes back up to it, what's the likelihood of a reaction happening here compared to when it happened back here, okay? So the way I like to see it is out of all the amount of times this level has been hit recently, how many times has it worked, okay? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times this level worked. You could also say maybe nine and ten here, but then once you see here, one, two three four five six seven eight so the past eight times price has hit this level it hasn't respected it whereas in the past there was all these touches here about 10 where it did respect it so once you see price not respecting a level that's when we want to potentially start pulling away from it now what does this mean for us well all it means is that yes this level was kind of valid up until this point so now all that means is that now this level is not being respected, what we want to do is focus on maybe some more recent areas where price has always been respected. So I like to find areas of support and resistance and not just, for example, support. But if you do find an area where, you know, price has respected it multiple times as resistance, like, for example, something like this, then by all means, you can draw the level even though it's not been tested as support yet. Does that make sense? So you can say well, this level's been touched once, twice, three times, four times. What's the likelihood of price coming back to this level and working? Well, as of right now, this level has a 100% work rate. So for that reason, what are the chances that it's going to happen again? So it's just about the probabilities of this level. If we look at this most recent one, one, two, three, four, four times the level has worked as support and resistance. Now we've broken through it, we would look to potentially trade the retest of it. And then obviously then, if it was to work, then great, the level still stands. If it was not to work, then obviously in that moment there, you're kind of looking at a position where you're like, well, actually, this level potentially is going to stop working. Okay, now it's not to say that levels that worked in the past are not going to work in the future. So for example, we've got support here, support, support. So if we look at this example here, you can see that the level worked continuously in and around this area. And then as you can see here, it kind of stopped working, but then it did come back to work 
at this point here. So it's not to say that the levels are not going to work. It's just about giving yourself the best possible chance of obviously getting a winning position. If we look down at the bottom here, there's also this area. So if we do this, you can see that the last, um, if we go further there, cool, we've got one there as well. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. The last six times that this level down at 162.50 has been hit, that the level has worked. What are the chances that price comes back down to this level and works? Potentially pretty high, okay? So all we are doing is looking at the levels which have been respected most recently and then adding that approach to the future. You might start adding things like, you know, Fibonacci's and stuff like that. And then you can see if we look at this example that you have the 78 Fibonacci at the 169 round number. And then also this 78 Fib here. Okay. So just based on them reactions there, you are pretty much starting to build ideas of positions within the market, okay? So yes, you might want to trade price action. Maybe you wait for rejections or something like that. Or alternatively, what you might do is use a Fibonacci, an EMA, a trend line, anything like that to try to build up a better idea of a trade, okay? Let's go back to some uh, previous examples over here as well. I'll just remove everything off my chart. And let's just have a look at, you know, let's go to a random point within the market where there's a decent bit of price action and we can go over that. Great. Perfect. So if I'm looking at this chart from left to right, all I am going to be doing is looking at areas where price is respected every single time. What can you see here? Price respected it once, twice, three times and then came back and then again continuously respected it. Okay. So then what you can look to do is if price keeps respecting it, yes, you've got a bit of a liquidity spike here. That's normal. And then keep going right and you can see, look, price kept respecting this level and there was reactions. You would basically then use this level until it stopped getting reactions. But as of right now, every single time this level has been hit at 153, there has been a reaction. Okay, so this would still stand as obviously... Um, a valid level when it came to the markets okay if we then look at some other examples all we are doing is just basically you can go off the highs and lows if you want and just try find things so for example here and here as you can see with this market here price respected it twice and then just stopped respecting it so i'd probably say that's not a very good level to trade um, if we go to for example these lows here same again Price respected it as support, 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 then resistance, resistance. And then what you can see is that price continued to do so. You may potentially get the odd liquidity spike in and out of the level, okay? So the odd one, you might say, you know what, I'm happy with because, again, it's just a liquidity grab. As long as price continued respecting that level after, then you're good. It's not up until price stops respecting the level which same again with this one it looks like price has continued to do so that you would start disregarding it okay so like going back to this example down here where price has just not really respected it okay if we then look at some other ones here i can see that at this moment in time here as you can see resistance resistance break retest support break retest resistance resistance so what are the chances that once price breaks this level it's going to come back and work well it's high because the the area has worked 100 percent of the time so as you can see price then pushed up from this area okay so the basis of this video was just to basically show you obviously more weighted price action on levels that have worked pretty much 100 percent of the time so if we're looking at this new market on Euro Australian dollar, the areas I would potentially look to trade is a trade up at the 169. You've then obviously got this area here that's worked every time. And then you've obviously as well got this area down here that's worked every time. So just from looking at the market, you're finding the areas that have been respected every single time they've been hit. If they've worked 100% of the time, what's the chance that the next time price hits that level, it's going to work? The answer to that is very high. Okay, so I hope you've learned something from this short video. Let me know how you get on and if you've got any questions, just put them in the comments. 
As always, links to the group and all that side of it are in the description. Um, and yes, guys, I will see you in the next video.